Hello there everybody, Dingo Crash here and today we're heading into Ghost Town. Now today we're visiting a rather easy stage, which is some kart racing that we will be uh, we will be pretty much racing uh, Crunch. I was about to call him Trunks for some odd reason. <laughs> I really was about to call him that, and I just hate whenever Crunch like goes like that behind you. It's really annoying. It's, it's something that I've never liked about this stage is where he's like always behind you and it's just like, eh, back off. <laughs> Crunch is, it can be one of the annoying, one of the most annoying characters in this game. And especially in this stage. In this stage he's really bloody annoying. And good thing that he's going in that pathway because that means that we're in the lead. Now I never understood really the point system or like how were you in the lead really because like um it, it's just a very confusing kind of stage whenever it comes to that the patterns of the stage are just way too confusing now you you will most likely have a chance of oh fuck you know i think i fucked it up i think i just like got to only one of the gems that I will, I am supposed to be getting. Um, and there you go. Yeah, we. That that was a perfect run, till freaking Crunch got in the freaking lead. Now all we have to do, um, technically we have to return to this stage again and again, because like, um, well we have to get the other gem. Pretty much what we've got is the gem for the box, uh, for the boxes, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the gem for the race, and we're also, after that, we're gonna be getting the, um, <coughs> we will be getting the freaking, what is it called, um, the time trial, the, pretty much the relic. Now, the, the relic in this stage is really one of the easiest relics to get, because, um... It, it's just a very... It, it's just a very easy relic to get. It, it's, there's nothing much to talk about. Especially if you practice this stage over and over. Um, you know, it, it makes sure, you know, that you're... That you're doing well. Uh, because, like... It's really one of the easiest stages in, in this game. And for, uh, you know, for the fifth warp room, like, you'd think that y you need a level, like, the, you will be entering a stage that is difficult as all hell. But really, this stage, like, it takes you just a couple of minutes to practice it, and you're mastering it within seconds. It, it, it's that easy. Now we're pretty much in the lead. Um, we were pretty much ahead of Crunch, and <clears throat> right now we're gonna head towards the exit. Terry, towards the exit. We're just gonna head towards the ending. And yep, we've just got the second gem. Um, I just love how in this warp room it's just based on relics and gems. Like there's no crystals at all. And we're heading back in yet again. <laughs> it's it's really annoying that you have to re-enter it. It kind of makes me feel like I'm playing Gex for some reason. Because in Gex, like, uh, whenever it comes to the collectibles, you have to re-enter the stage over and over and over again. It's, it's just like, why do I have to do that so many times? It's so bloody annoying. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this. But that's that's Gex for you, and well, that's this game for you. That is, and um, really, if you memorize the, these patterns uh, very well, y you're you are most likely to do very good in this time trial. But what you need to try and do is not to miss many boxes, because if you miss 
many boxes, you were kind of doomed in a way because, like, um, the time trial is really depending on those time boxes more than anything. And it, I know it can be very frustrating at times, but you know you gotta try and be careful whenever it comes to do, to these boxes. Now I think that also in order to to get you know to do good in this time trial, I think you need to be ahead of Crunch as well. But I'm not too sure. I don't think that's really the case. And we're on the third round, really. And. Well, I think he's ahead of us, but I don't think that it really matters. Oh, yeah, it does matter. Fucking asshole. I was doing so well, but that stupid ass asshole was right in the freaking way. That was bullshit. <laughs> I was doing so well. Stupid ass crunch was in the freaking way. <laughs> I can't believe that I wasted so much time on this just because of crunch being a cockblock. <laughs> it's so fucking annoying. But what can you do? That's crunch for you. A good thing that he took the other way so we can actually be in the lead and not being stuck behind. <coughs> but I think the time trial wise we're doing kind of well. Um. Obviously, we're trying to get in, the, in those ways where he's not going to be, you know, just cock-blocking the, the way. <laughs> and there you go. Now, all we have to do is just enter the last path. And we're good to go. Now, I'm not too sure if there's a world record for this, for this stage at all. Like, I've never noticed if there is a, a, a freaking world record. Is he really in the lead again? Wow, that is bullshit. No, that is fucking pure bullshit. How is he in the lead? What the fuck? I'm doing so fucking good. Why? <laughs> Why the fuck? It's, it's like I expected this, this part to be like five minutes long. But Crunch decides to freaking just like screw everything up badly. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is so fucking annoying. Like, why? <laughs> like, really, why does it have to happen? I remember before I, when I was practicing this stage, um, <clears throat> I, I was doing very well. I think I need to. I think that I need to enter here around, you know, the second bit of whenever you do this because then you can actually uh, kind of catch up to him and uh, things are hopefully gonna get a lot more easier now I'm gonna head towards this pathway and I'm not too sure if we're doing good or not but from what I'm seeing oh yeah, he's taking that path now hopefully this is gonna be or advantage because that asshole no 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 that was a bad idea that was a really bad idea because he can catch up at any moment okay there we go thank god <laughs> thank lord that we we actually did well this time and we're getting this done and over with <laughs> now um i think really the best time is just 28 seconds and it, 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 around 28 seconds. I don't think he can get less than that. Um, unless people found some trick regarding that. But yeah, we're pretty much done with that stage. We're. Um, I, I literally forgot what's the name. No, sorry. Uh, it was uh, Ghost Town. Yeah, we're pretty much done with Ghost Town. And there is pretty much just three more parts to go. And we are literally done with this Let's Play. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to drop a comment, tender a like, and subscribe if you haven't. And in the next part, we're going to see you in Ice Station Bandicoot. Thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.